Hey guys, welcome back to another video review. We have the Skeleton Soldier Builder up for review today. Legion Builders don't have any unique lore to them, but on the side of the package we can see what faction they belong to. On the back we have new 2.0 artwork, along with a short paragraph on the lore of Mythic Legions. Let's check them out. All Mythic Legions come in collector friendly packaging, easy to remove or put back together without ripping anything in the package. The Skeleton Soldier Builder is a special type of premium Legion Builder. The price of this figure matches premium figures and not the price of a Legion Builder. Compared to a Legion Builder, she has a bit more work done on the paint and comes with an additional male body. Let's check out some of the details. We have a very nicely detailed skull and we have dents and scratches all over the bone with the light wash staining the bone. In the sculpt we have deep holes for the nose and the eyes. The helmet is battered and rusted out with a splash of brown grime all over. On the side we can see more detail in the helmet, many dents and scratches are applied all over. We can notice a bit of brown and silver paint applied to the figure giving it a worn out dirty look. On the chest we have a standard female night body with silver paint applied as worn out and scratched metal. On the back we can see three large sockets, we will be using two at the top for shoulder armor later on. We can notice a small amount of silver paint here and a scratched up effect. The shoulder has small layers of plates riveted into the shoulder. It's heavily covered in a brown grime. Under the shoulder we can see the bone arms. They're sculpted with a rough texture feel and lightly washed in a darker brown to bring out the details. We have bladed armor in the forearms. It's just as heavily worn out as the rest of the armor. We have bone hands with a bit of dirt applied to them. On the belt we have large plates of armor layered over each other. We have a few heavy strokes of brown paint applied in the area to dirty the piece up. And we get a small plate to cover the backside. While the thighs are just big bones, we do have some small details in the bone when we look close up. On the legs we have spiked armor. We have even more of that brown grime heavily applied here, with more silver paint at the edges to give it a scratched up look. We finish up the figure with skeletal feet. The detail here is very nice, as we have each toe sculpted along with the light wash to bring out the details. Let's check out the articulation. We have a ball jointed head, with a neck peg that also rotates, horns that rotate, arms that open and rotate, a bending elbow with rotation, a rotating forearm, wrists that bend up and down and rotate, a ball jointed chest, rotation at the waist, legs that open and move forward and back, Knees that bend back, with a small bit of rotation. With feet that bend up and down, with rotation at the ankle and feet. Let's check out the accessories. We get a smaller 2.0 version of the skull. To install the extra head, you easily pop out the old head and pop in the new one. Mine was a bit tight. We get a male torso with an extra neck peg. It's detailed similar to the standard body with silver scratches and brown stains. We can see the differences between the female and male body armor, as well as on the back the extra peg hole that the male body gets. The extra peg hole is for the neck accessories some figures can use. As we can see here the female body has no option for neck accessories for some reason. We have a pair of shoulders with brown stains and silver scratches all over them. To install the shoulder, you match the peg with the sockets on the back. They have a bit of rotation for better shoulder articulation. On the default helmet, we have horns that are removable. The sockets fit most helmet attachments. To attach different horns on the helmet, you simply plug them in into any socket. We get a strand of blonde braided hair. The hair easily pegs into the back of the helmeted head. We get a small spike topper to place on the helmeted head. It pegs into the back of the helmet. We get a small round shield with a ton of rusted weathering on it. It has the new 2.0 shield grip attached to the back. We get a standard small sword with a bit of rust painted on. We get a standard spear also painted with a tiny bit of rust. We get a pair of wing adapters to attach wings onto the figure. And lastly, we get a small version of the belt to fit 2.0 bodies. 
The Skeleton Soldier Builder is a great addition to anyone's undead army. The paint job isn't overly flashy and just adds enough detail to keep the armor interesting and sets it apart from a regular Legion Builder. The figure feels fragile in your hands and is probably one of the thinnest figures Four Horsemen has released yet. The small skeletal limbs and arms make this figure very lightweight, it feels different from the usual bulky figures that we're used to. The accessories really make this figure great for army building. The extra heads and extra male body gives you a lot of options for customizing your skeleton soldiers. While the cost of the figure matches the price of a premium figure, we can see where that extra cost is going to. The extra accessories and some slight improvements on the paint job help keep this figure in the great value range. I do have to wonder if it would have been just a better idea to release a both male and female version of the skeleton soldiers as separate figures. After owning a few skeleton soldiers, you will have more bodies and heads and not enough arms and legs to utilize all those extra pieces. But that's a small problem that only hardcore collectors will face. Otherwise, I really don't have any complaints for this figure. Overall, the Skeleton Soldier Builder is a great figure. We have tons of customization options, great detail in the sculpting of the skeleton, and solid paint that gives the figure a lot of age to it. If you're looking to fill out your bad guy's army, a few of these Skeleton Soldiers would do the trick. With the extra bodies and heads, you can even kit bash a few on your own. I would recommend this figure to any fans of skeletons, or anyone who needs more bad guys in their collection. Alright guys, that's it for this review. Check out my other videos and more reviews are on the way.